Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, December the 7th. It is the history moment for remembering the Pearl Harbor attack. It is the year 2023. This is episode 4207. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, He Will. Stay tuned. He Will. What are you talking about, Bruce? (laughs) Who is the He and what is the Will? Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 says this, And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you, He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Now, after 40 long and tragic years in the wilderness, seeing miraculous provision and protection, The Israelites are on the cusp of entering into that good land promised by God when he rescued them with his mighty hand and his outstretched arm. Moses is not to be the one to take them in. His successor, Joshua, will carry the responsibility into what is the next chapter. Moses is commissioning Joshua in these verses. And verse 8 follows the iconic be strong and courageous of verse 7. Moses' encouragement is that the Lord himself will go before them and be with Joshua, never leaving or forsaking him. Considering that Joshua should not be afraid, and should not be discouraged. The promised land is still full of hostile people. Uh, The Israelites will have a great deal of work to do to take it. God showed Abraham over 400 years prior that part of the plan was that he would use the Israelites to bring judgment upon the abominations of the pagan people in Canaan who sacrifice to their demonic gods in all manner of evil ways. If the Israelites would only be faithful to God alone and not go like an adulterous bride after false gods, God would do nearly all the work and bless and empower the work that the people would do. Can the Christians take the words meant for Joshua for themselves? You can, and you should. If God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, how much more will he be with us by his spirit that he first promised and then sent to his church? He has not and will not forsake us. So, The Lord himself goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Father, help us to live out the truth of this verse today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Thursday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.